Hey everybody, we're back with session three of Digital Devil Saga. Might as well get into it. Hey Clem, how you doing buddy? as it was. Oh, I know what that's like. <laughs> I'm guessing you're also in Crag stream. Uh, I saw he just went live with uh, Mole Nocturne. There we go. You're not? Hmm. Alright, let's catch up on what we were doing yesterday before we... Yesterday? Sunday? Sunday before we died. I think it was Sunday. That's fair enough. Alright, so let's do this. This guy was weak to terror, I think. Well, I appreciate it. if you're going to be anywhere that you'd be here, Clem. This is going to hurt. There it is. We go way back. Hey, Bane. Honestly, it felt like the stream would feel more professional that way. I'm moving this chat. There. Uh, there. Uh, let me test this. That's probably fine. Yeah, it felt like the stream would feel more professional if there was at least the option of affiliate stuff. To be fair, we were playing Resident Evil at the time, Clem. I'm gonna eat this guy. One turn, nice. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, I don't expect you guys to subscribe, there are 
no uh what would be the word there's no real pushing to subscribe though i do have emotes in the works to actually justify subscriptions obligations there you go thank you clem there are emotes in the works um But they're, they're going to take a little while anyway. We do have channel points though, now that I've uh, put the affiliate on. <laughs> the conk droid. You're weak to. Hmm. Yeah, the minute I've got a friend, I've uh, commissioned a friend to do the emotes. The same one that um, designed my avatar. I couldn't really think of anything that I felt a real connection to. Uh, that would be worth trying to make an emote out of, like... Ali has the Resident Evil emotes, and Krag has the Shin, Mi Shin Megami Tensei emotes. Uh, as far as I'm aware, channel points? No, they just accumulate as you watch. It, as I think it's a loyalty thing. But yeah, Ali has the Resident Evil emotes, and Krag has the, uh, the Shin Megami Tensei emotes. I think he has some others, but the main one I recognise is the Jack Frost emote. It's like, well, I don't want to steal either of their ideas. So the emotes that are currently in the work are basically me. Well, yeah, they're going to be based on the Avatar. Hmm. The Simpsons. <laughs> Mabufu. I think it depends on what the points uh, do on particular channels. I appreciate that, Clem. Uh, I did finally get around to setting up... I'm gonna eat this slime. I got around to setting up uh, auto-hosts. So if I'm offline, but some of the people that I have set on my auto-hosts aren't, uh, they'll be there. But I think the points in particular... ...mostly useless. Um... It depends on what rewards or what uh, things you can get. Depending on the channel. I've got some of the usual ones. Um... So what do we got? Highlight the message, unlock a random sub emote, and choose an emote. Modifying emote. So I've got those, which are pretty standard. We don't have emotes yet, though. Uh, but then I've also added an extra two uh, karaoke and pick a game. Not yet.
fact, our jailer can heal us. Like, the pick a game is at 6,000, so if you accumulate 6,000 points, it's not an overnight thing, that's probably like a couple of streams. Uh, you get to pick a game uh, for me to play at some point. I might swap the requests request thing out with that. This is always going to start with a nasty hit. Yeah, Craig, Craig streams for a long period. And I don't know whether it was a common thing before everything that's going on happened, uh, but he seems to be streaming every day. I think I have 30,000 in a couple of streams. Uh, I've got a lot in Ali stream, I've got a lot in Teak stream. For the most part, I think most of it is pointless. Which is why I tried to put in a couple of rewards there that I think might be worth something. Uh, bits are some kind of money. Okay, there we go. Right. Yeah, you'll probably get over that quickly, Clem. Bits are some kind of money. You basically... It's a currency that you buy off Twitch and then you spend on channels. I don't understand the point of it. Yeah, that's fair enough. We'll still be here, Clem. Red eye statues. That's an exit. I think this was an exit. There's a way forward at least. Two doors. Empty room. This is probably somewhere we fall down. But, um, now that I've pushed myself into affiliate, I'm willing to discuss your fees. If you feel better about it, Bane, I can take the sword off you and give you a diamond instead. This is another dead end, alright. Uh, but yeah, now that we're on affiliate and we can end up with subs and making money from it. Not expecting a huge amount, but I've kind of uh, done the stream up a little bit. For example, uh, we had a different song playing today from usual. Ah, shit. Well, that works out. And how does Terra do? Not a weakness. That's a weakness. Awesome.
You are 42 carat. Yeah, you're getting pushy there, Bane. Um, but yeah, like we got a different song. I set up specific music to play uh, on various screens rather than, you know, my usual thing of music from the game we're playing. Ah, crap. Come on. Alright. Alright. So yeah, uh, add some consistency to it. Basically, we got um, starting music, ending music, and be right back music. Okay, I gotta watch out for the red eyes. Again, immediately. This is going to get nasty, I can feel it. Damn it. Alright, succubus, and what's this? Icon. What would they be weak to? Try Bufu. Nothing but one of them's frozen. Take advantage. Some people gift subs. Um, it basically means you get a month of the subscription. And subscribers have various benefits, like access to the subscriber-specific emotes. A lot of streamers have ads specifically turned off for subscribers. Uh, and basically the money still goes to the streamer. It's like after we finished on Sunday, uh, I went and watched some of Craig's stream for a bit. Of course, she'd be weak to repel, uh, expel. Um, and somebody in there gifted me a sub. I'm not sure what's in it for the person gifting the sub because it does cost real money. Mazan. That's not it. Moraji. That's not it. Yeah, probably not. Like I say, nobody is under any obligation to sub to me. I mean, I specifically said at one point, the, um... That was part of the reason why I put off... Setting the affiliate up, because I don't want people to feel like they have to sub.
Yeah, let's do it like this then. Yeah, that's a crazy amount. I like to say that's real money. There is the thing, like, if you want to actually support me monetarily, that's what the ad before the stream is for. I assume there's an ad before the stream. There's supposed to be. It's not one I've set up, but there's supposed to be one there. Damn it. Oh no, god no. Like the main the main thing about all of it is a lot of it is gonna take work. And at the end of the day this is a hobby. Again. There we go. Yeah, ads before the stream is a common thing. Uh, it should have been happening before I set the affiliate up. It's just that now that affiliate is set up, um, for every a thousand, for every one thousand people that watch them, uh, I get a little bit of money. I have a very small amount. Save room, sweet. Like I say, uh, the entire thing is pretty much, it's still a hobby. I'm here to play games, chat with you guys, try and have some fun. I'm putting some extra stuff in there to make subscribing actually have a benefit. Because I, I assume sooner or later somebody will subscribe and they should get a reason for subscribing but there's no obligation for it and I don't expect it I remember I used this as a grinding spot last time I was doing this game Cooking with Chrono. Ugh. Wasn't that just your suggestion when I said I'd be doing an April Fool's video? And then I brought up the uh, the Cooking with Scorpion video you can find in Mortal Kombat Del Deadly Alliance. It's interesting though, like a little under a year since we started, we've managed to hit affiliate. And like... It means a lot to me that you guys have all stuck around. And that enough people have stuck around with me, uh, to the point where we even have that option. I need to sell some of these cells. Well, that was a bad idea. Okay, so don't do terror. Don't do ice.
<laughs> the one year anniversary video. Coming up to a year for the stream, actually, uh, the 9th of May, which is a little over two weeks away. <laughs> uh, I would have to... Um... Okay, not fire. I'd have to be willing to put myself on camera for that. And you know I'm not great with that to begin with. Okay, so they blocked themselves from Earth for a reason. Because they're weak to it. Alright. few enemies here weak to earth. It's worth having somebody else know it as well. this way and then we didn't go down here Baited doing some kind of joke like that. You know, like how many YouTubers uh, do sponsorship deals now? Because YouTube's ad revenue system is absolute garbage. But the way that works, you end up seeing. Uh, you end up seeing a few specific things advertised over and over. I debated doing some kind of joke on that. So I don't have Matsera. And he has been muted. Then follow that up with Terra. And throw another Zeo at the Archangel. Another one. It's it. Yeah. A lot of it is pretty bad. It's like, I get it, they've got to make a living, but a lot of it is really bad. And it gets worse as it gets more prevalent. I think the worst, though, are the ones where... Like, the, the sponsorship is in the middle of the video. But, you know, I was watching a video for something, then the entire thing stops in the middle for the advertisement. It's like, at the end, fine, whatever. I'm going to click off at that point anyway, but they know you're going to click off. 
And so at that point, I just tend to fast forward through it because I don't care. I don't give a damn about raids, Shadow Legends. Okay, so that's a dead end. There we go, Matera. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I got balls in my tummy. And I feel like eating you. It was actually a video I watched yesterday. Um... Jim Sterling video specifically talking about sponsorship stuff. Honestly, I think it says everything about the state of YouTube that the angry video game nerd feels the need to do it. AVGN still gets millions of views per video. But the fact that it seems like he needs to be in one of these sponsorship deals to actually make the money at this point is pretty bad. And more than anything, it suggests that YouTube is just not a place to make a living anymore. Maybe that's why you get so many people on uh, specifically Twitch now. Really? I would have thought it'd be more than that. He's been doing... Like, Cinemassacre's been doing AVGN for, what, like, 14 years now? No, I wanted to heal, did I? No, we'll save it. Um, save it for the minute, we're okay. Hmm. Well, at the end of the day, it's not about necessarily subscribers, it's about views. God, I forget what the yellow eyes do. I remember. Yeah, at the end of the day, it's not about subscribers, it's about viewers, and... Really? 2004? I was thinking 2006. Hmm. Yeah, it's not about viewers, it's about... No, it's not about subscribers, it's about viewers. And, like, it's supposed to be off the ad revenue, but then there's the big issue that they've really had. Uh, ad block is such a desirable thing, especially on YouTube with how bad a lot of the ad situation has gone. God damn it. And then there's the issue of who's actually putting the ads on. And then you end up with YouTubers who put ads on their own videos and then the video is filled with ads. A 10 minute video with 5 ads. And it's like, yeah, no, ad block.
it really does feel like at this point YouTube is not the place to try and make some money. Yeah, I know the Simon's Quest video was the first one. I didn't realise that it was up on his own website before that. Uh, but it makes sense. And I, I am aware it was supposed to be a one-off. I remember what the yellow eyes are now. They're tricks. You get closer and they turn red. Or blue. But then this blue doesn't matter because that's red. The idea is you have to get closer to see them. I hear a save point. And I can change my mantra here. yeah I think we're at the point now because of numerous factors YouTube is no longer the haven of creativity it used to be where people could grow uh, they could develop a project and grow with it and then make a living from it and I don't think YouTube is that anymore Probably, yeah. I was debating starting it this week and uh, diving deep into it. But, um... I ended up playing Dark Souls for a while yesterday and kind of just got done with it. Uh, trying out that beefy build I was working on. And honestly, it was kind of boring. The cleric build is way more interesting, but I'm going to give it a little more time before I go for that. Uh, for the stream. Especially with how little time we have left until Star Wars month. Pretty much. It's why I've never really intended to get money out of the Let's Plays or anything. Because chances are it'll never happen. YouTube is too big a platform for it. There are too many people offering content that would be better than I can come up with. And even if I put out some of the best content ever, a lot of it comes down to luck. People discovering what you're putting out and then people sticking around beyond that. I didn't get new... I, I didn't get new... Stuff. I can't really blame you for that, honestly. Dark Souls 2 really put me off. Uh, pushing forward into Dark Souls 3. I've heard very mixed things about Dark Souls 3 to begin with. Part of the reason why the next Souls game I'll do will be Bloodborne. And I do want to take a look at Demon's Souls at some point. Ancient God. Huh. But for now, I want Earth.
I can definitely see where you're coming from with that. The idea with Dark Souls 2, I guess, was more about... the same idea with a new coat of paint. But Dark Souls 2 just had so many mechanical choices that were worse than Dark Souls 1. And that was irritating. Like, when it got down to it, having to teleport back to uh, the hub to level up every time was just time-wasting. Because all it meant was every time you want to level up, you're going through two loading screens. There it is this way. And I don't get why they do that. Bloodborne interests me mostly for its completely different aesthetic. Uh, and a lot of what I've seen of it seems really interesting. But like Dark Souls, it has problems explaining mechanics to you. Like, the more I look at Dark Souls, the more I dislike that about Dark Souls. The fact that there's so many mechanics that it doesn't explain to you. Like, if you want to be difficult, fine. But Dark Souls adds to its difficulty by not telling you how to play the game. And that is just stupid. Damn. Like, at no point does Dark Souls ever explain how scaling works. But scaling is such an important mechanic. It's why people will pick up the Drake Sword in Dark Souls 1 and try to use it for the entire game. Because the game doesn't explain why that's a bad idea, because the Drake Sword doesn't scale. God damn it, would you stop ambushing me? So they keep blocking Zeo because they're weak to it. All right. Yeah. 
Yeah. I'd say it's worth doing the first Dark Souls. But, you know, you've seen the first Dark Souls, and I feel like one of the best points of Dark Souls is exploring it. It's kind of the awkward uh, balance you have to try and get out of it. Because Dark Souls doesn't like to tell you how to play the game. Dark Souls doesn't like to explain how a lot of its mechanics work, so you have to look up a lot of it to really understand it. But Dark Souls is best when you go into as much of it as you can blind. Well, that sounds worrying. It reminds me, I've got new skills and I should set them. Not bad. No, I don't want random hunt damage. I want Analyze because I'm really noticing how much I might make use out of it here. Is damage random? Multi hit one enemy. Yeah, replace that. Not a bad idea. Okay, that's blue. Then it would have to be blue, otherwise, otherwise there'd be no way over here. Here we go. You're different. Yeah, I definitely agree with you there. I think that's part of the reason why I got really bored with Dark Souls 2. There wasn't anything to engage me. I mean, that could be part of the problem with a lot of the Shin Megami Tensei games as well, and certainly why you might not be as into the main series as uh, the Persona games. They tend to be quite hands-off with the story. Like, give me something. Okay, you know what? I'm getting rid of Analyze again. That is worthless to me. There we go. Welcome back, Clem. God damn it. Yeah, I'm okay. Uh, we're discussing the uh, the good thing, the goods and bads of Dark Souls. Okay, now bring him back. Throw it Zio. Shit. Now it's time for a Medea. It's actually gotten oh, like noticeably colder. Ah oh, shit. Over here. Fire.
Yeah, it got noticeably colder over here this morning. There we go. Okay, so get rid of Analyze because it's a worthless skill, it seems. Could have done with keeping Void Electric there. Anything worth it? Anything worth it? Statue key. Mandatory. All right, let's go back. Yeah, I guess uh, the lack of story, like I say, can be a problem with the Shin Megami Tensei series, the main series. Ball was a little better about it, admittedly. Uh, four story, four started with a strong story focus, uh, and then regularly kept it going. Meanwhile, you compare that to Nocturne. A Nocturne starts with a story, and then that story takes a background. And the story goes into the background while you explore the Vortex world. So at that point, what you're after really has to be the exploration of the world itself and the battles and that stuff. And it is a difficult sell, uh, I can definitely understand that. I feel like the problem with Dark Souls 2 was just the way it presented itself with a lot of that. I mean, for starters, at least you had a goal that you were aware of in Nocturne. In Dark Souls, you just you have no idea what's going on in Dark Souls 2. Just keep going. Uh, kill a specific set of bosses. Eventually, you'll get to the end. Maybe that was the specific problem, the lack of an identifiable goal beyond just kill four bosses and that is, what, like 80% of the game? And I think Dark Souls 1 does it better as well. Yeah, I know you like the word nebulous, Bane. I, I, like I said, I think Dark Souls 1 does it better as well. What's your goal? ring two bells and then you're constantly moving towards that goal it's not unobtainable one's above one's below you find the one above and then you keep heading down until you hit the one below and that's not a huge ah fuck that's not a huge part of the game And then once you're done with that, you have a new a new place to go. Because then Sam's Fortress opens up. And you have one direction to go.
It's like, here, there's not been a huge amount of story in this game. But we've always known what the point is. Like, what are we doing now? We're trying to find the leader of this tribe to basically assassinate him. It's taken a while, but that's the goal. It's a goal we can move towards. And I do think that is the biggest problem, specifically with Dark Souls 2. The game just doesn't want to tell you what you're doing. Random can be such an irritating attribute. And I'm gonna kill you. Nice. Heal Argila. Set terror for surf. Uh, replace ice boost. There we go. But specifically, when we're going in any direction, we have to know why. Sooner or later, you've got to tell us what the point was. And that's really the thing with Dark Souls 2. It sends you in four directions and doesn't tell you what the point of it is until after you've done all four and figured out which the fifth direction is. And because of the teleportation being available from the beginning and the game world being designed around that, the world feels less organically put together. You're not going to know the world as well. I don't remember a lot of Dark Souls 2 as much as the first game. I forgot how to get to specific areas uh, during the Dark Souls 2 playthrough because once I've been through them once, I wasn't going through them again to find anything different because I could just teleport. Meanwhile, compare that with how many times I went through Undeadburg in the first one. Mantra. What can I learn from this one? Iron stomach, that's what I'm after. That prevents me from getting stomach aches. But it costs 50,000 to learn this mantra. Maybe it is time to learn the second level spells.
All right. This way. Gotta remember to pay more attention to the side passages again. Okay, these guys will weak to earth. Well, not anymore for this for this turn. God damn it. Might as well just keep hitting it now. Okay, we went in there. This has got to be an empty, a dead end room. Ambush. Monster in the box. That's not good. That's better. Zio. But terror. What about just hitting them? Yeah, why not? Zan? Yep. And hit him again. Eh. Could have got nasty. Ooh. I need to use some of these noises. God damn it. Should have done better. Right, where is it? Through this door. Oh no, not one Necromata that isn't going to get a chance to attack. Yeah, this isn't a bad place to grind for a while since you can get to the, um... The save point that lets you heal. And you can get enough money from each from these fights to not have to worry about the cost. So it's a fairly safe place to grind. This way. Up here. Of course, we get to the end of this game and we will have to do Digital Devil Saga 2. For reasons. Hmm. Store, save. Ardula is almost done with her mantra, so it'd be worth just running around this area for a minute. 
So what do you guys think of Digital Devil Saga so far? Okay, run around. Run around, get around, I get around. Right, hit you with a terror. Kill you as quickly as possible. Well, yeah. If Persona was your first exposure to the Shin Megami Tensei series and you've not spent a lot of time with the with any of the other stuff, it's understandable. You say typical PS2 era JRPG is a good thing there, Bane? It's good stuff. Uh, probably takes a little too long to really get going in a good way. And that's probably just because of dungeon length. Yeah, that's good. We speak of um, PS2 JRPGs. And one that I do think about that I'd love to get to at some point. Uh, Road Galaxy. Although that's probably more action RPG. God oh, damn it. One more fight. Unless we get our Jilla to eat something, at which point. Uh, definitely one more fight. That should work better. Then you hit this one. And then you eat this one. Okay. Even though it's a weakness, it's only doing like ten points of damage. God damn it. Oh yeah, they were recently uh, re-released, weren't they? Uh, they're both Atlas games. Eat the bird. Yeah, I s I'm aware of the, uh, the Langrisser series. I have, I think, two of them on PS PS2. I think. I might be thinking of something else. 
Uh, I think they're tactical RPGs, aren't they? Um, where is... there it is. You take a look. Langris, uh, PS2. Sure, I had something on PS2, a Langrisser game on PS2, but I must have been mistaken. I can understand the uh, the interest in a good tactical RPG. There's one that I do have on PS2 called Stay a Deus, uh, the Gate of Eternity. It was published by Atlas. And I want to play through it at some point. The thing that interests me about it is the main focus of the conflict is a religious conflict. Which is something you don't often see in games. It's like how Suikoden or, in, or originally interested me because... It, what, the series isn't about some big monster taking over the world, it's always political conflict, which is pretty unique as far as JRPGs go. Okay, Mudo... Bit there. Like death would be good. But I'm not going to know when I'll need that until I need it. Mamudo, death resist. Yeah, it'd be worth learning these. Pricey, but you know, gotta get them sometime. No, oh, I wanna save, damn it. I've got disc gear one uh, and five on Switch, and I've been meaning to spend some time with them. Especially five. Like, the disc gear games can be huge, and they're also fairly light hearted. Like if I was going to suggest a tactical RPG for anybody these days, it would probably be Disco. Okay, so we went this way. It's good that they, um, they put Disc Air 1 on consoles again. Because, like, previously the only way to play it on console would have been the PS2 version, which can be pricey. Or play the PSP version on a PS TV, which has its own problems. Shit. 
Uh, hopefully they'll re-release Disc Gear 2 in that way as well. But for some reason they skipped over 2 and 3 and re-released Disc Gear 4 instead. And don't get me wrong, I like Disc Gear 4. I like Valva Torres as a character. It just seems weird to me that they skipped over uh, 2 and 3. You ever played this game before, Bane? Terror. I remember I had Disco 1 for DX. Right, so the weak to Zan, okay. Uh, but I didn't actually get into it until I got it on PSP. Well, if you've seen it on streams, you should probably know what you're getting into. And you can jump into anywhere in the series. It is a shame the first two are as expensive to pick up as they are. Uh, on PS2. Because, like, until Disc Gear 1 Complete came out, there wasn't a good way to play the first game on a modern system. I mean, like I say, you can play the PSP version on, like, Vita or PSTV. But that has its own problems. Big games, the disc is. The... The entire design built around leveling up to ridiculous proportions and grinding in the item world and stuff. If you can get into them, they're a lot of fun. At this point, if you're going to pick up Disc Gear 5, though, I'd say get Disc Gear 5 complete. That's what it's called on Switch, um, because they ported it to the Switch and it comes with all the DLC. There isn't a version of Disc Gear Five on PS4 called Complete, but you can get it in. You can get it in a bundle with all the DLC, and it usually goes fairly cheap. It might be on sale now. Actually, I'll check for you. Because uh, the big in Japan sale. Okay, themes, avatars, can't just give me the game. Yeah, you always want to buy stuff cheap. Uh, Disc Gear 5 Complete Bundle, it's not on sale at the minute. Uh, includes a bunch of scenarios for the other from the all the um includes a bunch of scenarios from with characters from other 
uh, NIS games, uh, Disc AD 244332, Mackay Kingdom, La Pucelle. A uh, bunch of stuff there. Uh, if we put games in there as well. No, it's kind of surprising. Um, <coughs> is this Gear 5 even sold on its own now? Huh. They've got Disc Gear 1 complete uh, and Disc Gear 4 complete plus on there as well on PS. Yes, then. There's the options. You want to grab them. One is usually regarded as the best. I think that's specifically because of the characters. Like I said, I was really into four. Uh, I really like uh, Valvatoris. Kill it. Yeah, this gear four is good. Um, I wasn't as into three. I didn't really like Mao. Yeah, that's fair enough. We'll still be here when you get back, Ben. Argilla has Mudo now. Argilla can't cast Mudo now. Heat. Try again. Mudo. There we go. Nice. He's almost leveled up. Uh, his mantra. Because we keep feeding stuff to him. Probably let somebody else eat. So, Terra. Okay, so if this doesn't give him a stomachache, this will do it. Okay, so Heat's got new skills to pay the bills. Place that. Ingest mana. Place that. That'll be good. Get a new mantra. Okay, what can we give Heat? If heat earth skills wouldn't be a bad idea. Save it. Uh, 
He'll have been in this place for years. Okay. Well, there's only one route left to go. Smack it. Throw rocks at it. There we go. sure there are no statues. We're after the left statue key. Oh, wonderful. Ration. And then we have to make our way past those guys. Transform. Heat can transform. And our Jilla can cast Zan. Now attack. There we go. This is how we do it. Is it good or bad? That's bad. Don't eat this one, just kill her. Feels like things are actually going my way here, and it's really disconcerting. Okay, so that's a trap. That's not a trap. I'm gonna circle round. This is where we came through earlier, okay. Woman will repel. But what will she repel specifically? That's worth knowing. Hmm. Especially since getting caught with a repelled skill ends your turn immediately. Well, let's see what's behind door number one. Hello. Hmm. Wild Pokemon, you say? Valkyrie, my guess is repels physical skills. Box that. There it is, physical repel. And the secrets of Metal Gear. How you doing, Teak? Okay, so... He can't do anything. There you go, she has counter strike. Careful of that. Yep. Wait 
for it. There we go. Eat, no problem. And heal up. Give me the key, 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 there's the key, yay! And now we can unlock this door. Sweet! That's a lot of work done. Save point. Alright, let's teleport back, heal up. And head forward. So, Teek, did you finish Dragon Quest last week? This way. All right. Nice. Did you finally figure out what was familiar about that world? Uh, smack this one. Throw a Zan down. Throw another terror. Smack this dude. And then throw another sound. Oh, you already know. That's fair enough. I don't want to spoil it if you didn't. forward even when it's backward you said you'd be doing the uh, the PSP version of 3 yeah Ah, shit. That's fair enough. Yeah, you can go this way. You got names lined up for your party? Kill you. Quickly. Then throw some rocks. Uh, default would be Luna, Reefia, Ignus, and I always forget the last one. Ah, thank you, Ben. Oh, from Wrecker Key, that's fair enough. Yeah, it makes a change from the way they were shown in Dissidia. Okay, so I guess I'll turn this left. Because uh, Dissidia just had Onion Knight. That's blue. Damn it. Uh, you hate Onion Knight, the job, the name, the character in Dissidia. 
Uh, what do you what do you hate about on Unite? Seek. Yes. Fair enough. The job on your night kind of irritates me. Uh, in the DS remake that was ported to basically everything and is the only official way to play it in English, uh, Onion Knight is a secret job. But even then, it retains its properties from the original, which is basically, it is the worst job until you hit level 90, at which point the stats start increasing tremendously. All right, let's finally get some progression. Do what we came here to do. Eat Chunky Mick. Going down, down. Hmm. Well, this feels ominous. Save room. Save. How close are we looking to my previous save? About halfway there. Hmm. We got at least another dungeon to go through before we catch up to that. I don't remember specifically though. Fixed camera angle room. Anything good? Revival gem. Always appreciate those. I really need to pay a stop off to the vendor. All the way down to go up. All the way down to go way to the top. Well, that says something. The fact that there's a third and fourth floor that we haven't been to. Let's go. Let's see if this will be a test run. We'll have to come back with specific skills. Well, it's a good thing I figured out these things are weak to Zan. So, Embryon came, just like he said. <gasps> Bat came squealing to us. That prick. Mick has probably devoured the Maribel's leader by now. Wait, what? That bastard. <sighs> Should have devoured him when I had the chance. Leading 
time. <laughs> oh, that looks kind of Dragon Quest. Okay, do I have anything to fix heat? Stone. Panic. There we go. Can you pull off my terror? No, my Zan. Yes, you can. Awesome. Do it. Go. Let's keep going. Burn this down with sheer force of numbers. Yup. Heal up. That's doing some nasty damage. Two. Yeah, it's my turn again. Nice. Throw a ration at Argilla. Since heat's kind of superfluous for the minute. Throw another Mazan down. And say goodbye out of crime. We need to get around to doing do a decim at some point. What are you weak to, Skelloboy? Not that. Fire? Oh, weird. Undead usually are. There we go. Okay, so shielded from fire. Not immune to Mazan. Do you summon dudes? Becomes a question. Because if you do, it's not going to be worth killing your friends. Turn to the earth from whence you came. Nope. Smack you in the face. Critical. Throw a Zan at you. Get you out and fight. What about lightning? No, but you shocked. That could have been worse. That leaves us with a problem now. We're required to obey our leaders by law. How could he betray her? 
I'm not surprised. Following an incompetent leader tends to get you killed pretty damn fast. You got something to say, Heat. So what now? You want to run away like sissies? Surf, we can't leave Janana. Let's rescue her. Gonna have to do something. At the very least, Mix guaranteed to be down there as well. Dude, if you got a fucking problem, say it. Yeah, let's run right into the fire that we set. Yeah, no, we'll lure them out. You sneak in and kill the leader. Now we're going to where they've been lured out. Does anyone have Mamudo? Like, do we have Mamudo as a team effort? I don't think so. Should have paid more attention to when they put that shield up. Okay. Alright. Smack my bit and shut. Bam! Let's throw another Mudo down. And then smack him in the face with a knife. Comes out of my arm. There we go. Level up. Yeah, Vitality is probably a good idea. Thanks, Clem. I work hard on my knife smacking technique. Do we have Marzio as a combination? Nice. No, we don't. All right. I'm gonna get shocked, kitty cat. And one for Jenny in the wind. And don't eat that heat. I don't even know where I am. This must be the entrance. One turn, one kill. Just how I like it. 
Yeah, right, let's do this. There's the vendor. There's a random battle. Game prepared this time, you son of a bitch. See what happens. All right, let's buy some stuff. Uh, any new ammo? Battle jacket, just straight attack power. Not a bad idea, but expensive. What do we want? I want a cell first. I've got some cells that don't have any other use. Sell those. Sell these. Sell these. And then sell this. Uh, ration. Let's buy ten. Rival bead. We only have one. Nine. We'll leave it at that and see how we go. A set heat with. Terror replace. Void fire. Okay, heal, heal, heal. Set the new mantra. What do we got? I don't regret that. There's a bunch of money to throw down. That's going to be a while till he's, um, till he's mastered that one. There, right, let's do this. Let's do these. Kill someone. Did you really expect to beat me on an empty stomach? Janana, are you? No way. Woman never devoured anyone. Can't say a sound about that guy. I won't kill needless. She's going to transform. Why do you have tiny zippers on your hood? Everyone, run! Oh, 
So we eat to survive now. This is what happens when you choose not to. There is no peaceful path here. <laughs> so she's turned all demon now, eh? <laughs> Seems like anyone who has the power ends up like that sooner or later. It started happening to some of my men, but they sure tasted good going down. Serves them right for trying to gang up on me. Have fun devouring each other. And I'm gonna go snack on whatever soldiers that stupid bitch still has left. <laughs> Get back here, you chunky bitch. Here we go. Let's figure this one out. Not that. Not that. Not that. Eh, that's not pleasant. Not that. What about the Zan? No, okay. No weaknesses we can exploit, so just do damage. You know, I think you might be right there, Teak. I'll have to take advantage of that. God damn it. Thankfully, this is still just a boss that only has one turn per round. But I remember I can actually deal with charm. There's the trick. What are you weak to? Hmm. Certainly it's problematic because it's got a bunch of health. I'm gonna be weak to something. God damn it. That'd be why she only takes one turn per round. So we're gonna kill a unicorn. How much health do these things have?
unicorns. Weak to mood on, maybe? Hmm. Worth a shot. Yes. And kill that. Pass. Medea. Alright, we know how to take care of this now. But here again. Until she's dead. I forget if she eventually summons something else that will have a different weakness. Hmm. Gonna have to watch out for that. Fucking Mudo. Might actually work this time. The worst part about enemies being weak to Hammer or Mudo is specifically that those attacks only have percentage chances of actually hitting. Kill it. Finally. worst part is even when you get the uh, next level Mudo spell, because Mudo only has two levels rather than the usual three. And even when you get this, the next level one, that just ups the percentage. It's still not a guarantee. Okay, she's getting close to death. as a relative term. Finish the fight.
Do you mind? There we go. Janana, you three are strong. Well, yeah, we basically cut a bloody path There's through the entire base. I can help you control this power. It won't be like this anymore. You and I get along, don't we? I'm sure the others will like you as well. Come with us, okay? Come and see Sarah, please. Your eyes, those are, they must be tears. I, I don't know why they keep coming. I can't stop, Janana. Argilla, do not be sad. Finally, I have become your comrade. Comrade? Yes. Your comrade. <laughs> Saying it feels right. She awoke to her emotions just as she died. Devour her. We're finding Mick. Nirvana's supposed to be paradise, right? We'll return to normal. Nobody will suffer like this anymore. That's it. I'm tired of this place. What a waste. That son of a bitch. Alright, uh, head back home, I guess. None of the other tribes should know she's here, except that Bat will have just overheard us. So basically, whoever controls Sarah stays human. Alright, let's finally head down here. See what we got.
Treasure. Hmm. Can't wait to get down there. Another blue wall seems kind of pointless considering you have to break one to get down here. Why is there a door on my own base that's locked from the other side? Oh my god, someone's in there playing silly buggers. Two MP noise, two HP noise. That's a pretty decent all of stuff. Hmm. I've been saving the noises for a rainy day because they fully heal you. But maybe it'd just be better to use them because they also boost your stats. Going down even further. Up, I guess. I'll probably be useful at some point. Blah. 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 Alright. How do we get down there? Is it back here? Probably good stuff as well. Alright, back up, uh, visit the vendor, save the game, and head back out. Mick said he was gonna see about eating any Marabells that are left, so he's probably gone to the Marabell territory. drink, spyglass. Alright. Jack of Drop will be useful. Magic Reed. Hmm. All right, equip everybody with the new ammo. Heal and save. Yeah. 
Where's everybody out with the mantras? All right. Well, at least we're finally out of the Citadel. Take a look. Well, there's smoke, but is there actually fire? There are dead people, definitely. said something unusual that you were in danger Sarah said that but how she couldn't have known are we always in danger though what transpired I see we have failed yeah, not yet plan plan plan, plan? How can you be like that? Our comrade died. Comrade? I do not comprehend. Just ignore her. She's just pissed because her girlfriend got killed. What is pissed? Her girlfriend? Hmm. We're going after Mick. Don't try to stop us. Yeah, that was the goal all along. You have a point. I believe it may still be feasible now that he has left the Citadel. Hey, Ninja. How you doing, buddy? acceptable. I will now accompany you. Finally, the fourth party member. All right. What do you got? Shot shell. Place with frigid shot. You already know a level 2 skill? What? Hmm. That's good to hear, Ninja. Good to hear. I saw you streaming Doom Eternal yesterday, I think. Would have come and said hi, but I uh, might want to do it myself at some point. So I don't want to spoil it. Yeah, put deer there. Marzan is probably worth it as well. Hmm. I need to get around to doing Doom 2016. So I can decide whether or not I'll actually be bothered about picking up Doom Eternal. I 
Oh, what's the problem? Uh, you're having trouble with your internet connection? So you stream directly off the PS4, don't you? Uh, Klim has some trouble with that as well. Ah, triple sleep, that's fair enough. Well, your health's gotta come first, man. Yeah, there's a dude over there. I think I'm an idiot. I've been sleeping about as much as I normally have. I guess, like, it kind of helps um, that I'm not doing super long streams as often anymore. Because, like, we're doing the super long streams and I'm going to bed later than I usually do. Okay, eat her. I'm still furloughed, so I've not had anything to do for... I'm um, probably a solid month now. Fucking coward. If you think it'll live in a stream up. Uh. I don't even know the lyrics to Subhuman. I don't even remember how Subhuman goes. Like, it's not even about just not rem knowing the lyrics to Subhuman. I don't even remember the, th the rhythm of that song. Like, that's just how much Subhuman just... Com I completely blanked on it.
This is obviously a trap. Oh no, not four dudes. What's up with these guys? It's not like I just killed what was it like eleven in one fight? Radioactive, radioactive. They are not attacking. This is a diversion. A diversion? What do you mean? We're outnumbered. Not outgunned. <laughs> Bat. Think again, dumbass. Bastard. I understand. This was a trap. You should have realized that the minute you saw one of them running away. Four turns. Great. Yeah, the reason for that is uh, Gale hasn't awoken to emotions. Got a fire in his head. Why is he not weak to ice? I right, see so weak to earth then. I'm gonna smack you. That's fine, I don't have expel. Might be an idea to switch somebody out for Gale though, because he has void death. If they're gonna keep casting that. Got a lot of health. So I like a Mudo's gonna hit. Hmm. Alright, I've got an idea. Gale. Boy, death. Will they figure out that I avoided death? Nope. And go your turns. Die. So this creates a thought. You keep switching between Void Expel and Void Earth, which means the Baphomets have to be weak to Expel while he has to be weak to Earth. It's gotta be it. Means throw rocks at the bastard. There it is.
This shouldn't be as bad as the last time we fought this guy, then. The music's really low-key, though. Kinda weird. has knives coming out of his feet. Counts as a death type spell. Wonder what's gonna run, run out first, my MP or your health? Looks like it'll be your health. I'm a little bastard. Lloyd Earth, I guess we'll just attack somebody else. I'm actually really lucky that Mudo didn't actually land like, at any point before it started, uh, before I brought Gale in. Definitely a good idea that I used Void Death. Okay, swap Heat out for Argilla. Do Void Death. get rid of Gale, don't they? Yeah, this time we ain't gonna leave you alive. Rick. Eight skills, yeah. You know, that's not going to help you. <laughs> There's a girl at our base who can help you control this power. Come with us. Come and see Sarah, please. You son of a... They are a step ahead of us. If they know that much. They are planning to neutralize us using Sarah's power. Mm, that's not good. How do you know that? Do 
Don't tell me that you... It is logical. She's just a girl who can sing. How dare you drag her into this mess? I do not comprehend. Logic demands the most efficient response to... No! It's not right! Oh, that's good. I'll taste your flesh one day, woman! Oh, for fuck's sake. It may be too late, but we should return to base. Should have killed him. Right. Now we're going to work our way out. Yeah, I get the feeling that's probably the intention. He just rips his head off. Was it even worth eating? Right. Heels. Free. Interesting. That's nasty. I just choose to take it at face value. Uh, still with the messed up notion that uh, the misogynistic idea of he just wants to eat a woman. And eat what you can get on the junkyard, though. Alright, yeah, let's get going. Yeah, let's do this. Actually, a point it would be worth uh, making sure I have somebody with fire skills now since heat's left. I think I have fire skills. Hmm. That's not good. Floppy grass horses. Uh, called Kelpie. Kelp is a kind of sea seaweed, isn't it? That worked. Yeah, so you're basically right, Ninja. Alright, I need to put fire on. Algae. Alright. Thanks, man. Interesting. I'll have to remember that.
Uh, it's gonna be based on some kind of folklore. Uh, let me see. Uh, no healing required. God damn it. Uh, Celtic mythology, a kelpie is said to be a supernatural water horse that haunts rivers and lakes in Scotland and Ireland. Its mane is black, but its skin is said to be cold as death. Said to lure mortals into water, especially young children, into drowning so it can eat them. The Kelpie tempts children to ride on its back, and once the victim falls for the trap, the Kelpie's, the Kelpie's skin is said to become adhesive. Yeah, so it looks like they wouldn't chase you, Ninja. It looks like they trick you into riding them, and then drag you into the water to drown you. Pretty much. You know, it's probably worth having the SMT wiki up for some of this later. Ah, oh, you know what it's like, Clem? Folklore is never nice. God damn it. There we go. Make up, you idiot. Really? Slash. Really, more? I don't have anything that'll do fire damage, and I'm pretty sure fire is the weakness. Or of attrition. Isn't the Trojan horse actually a myth, though? <laughs> you put a Trojan condom on and... Once it gets where it needs to be, a little wooden hatch opens up and little men pour out. They die. Gale is still asleep. Oh, for fuck's sake. Get your ass up, you idiot. Stupid fucking water horses.
Oh, you're actually awake now? God damn it. This game can get so bullshit with status effects like that. I don't think I have to worry about them luring me to my death. Ninja. Fucking really? It's the last wave. Then we all backed him into a corner and kicked it repeatedly. Change mantras. Full heal will be appreciated as well. Gale maxed out his mantra and I didn't realize. see it like anything like that uh, I always see it like that bit from Justice League War uh, where Green Lantern charges Darkseid and Darkseid backhands him Green Arrow flies into a wall and a bunch of parademons just land and start beating the shit out of Green Lantern it's hilarious It's one of the animated DC movies which are so much better than the live action ones. He doesn't have devour skills. Alright, first things first. I do have fire. I can even equip fire now, jeez. That's interesting. They've been building up to a rematch with Darkseid for a while, uh, since the death of Superman. But the, uh, the continuity thing, I don't think was such a great idea to begin with. Well, I don't think they did it that great. Yeah, that's good. Like, some of them are decent, but for the most part, the entire continuity has been weaker than all the stuff that uh, came before it. I really dislike how much time they spent focusing on Damian Wayne. Especially since it seemed like every movie he'd grow as a character, and then they'd revert that character growth at the start of the next movie. And 
and characters would ignore his character growth. Like Son of Batman, it's like, okay, he's decided not to kill Deathstroke. And it's like, great, that's some good evolution there, Robin. And then Batman vs. Robin acts as if that never happened. And it just continues on and on. I think Justice League vs. Teen Titans was finally the point where they started to make it stick in a decent way. Oh, this will work. Could have done that better. Get rid of that immediately. Yeah, it felt like if there was any kind of arc for Damien, it started in Justice League vs. Teen Titans. God damn it. Because any time they do anything with him before that, the next movie would just ignore it. Then again, I feel like the entire continuity had issues with that kind of thing there, there and then. Isn't Bad Blood after Justice League vs. Teen Titans? You gotta agree though, he starts off Justice League vs. Teen Titans as a dick again. Acting as though he's not learned anything. Don't kill the bad guy! Okay, I'm gonna shoot missiles at the bad guy. Like, for fuck's sake, Bruce. For, for fuck's sake, Bruce, it's not bring your kid to work day. Hmm. He was always a dick to dick. I think a big part of the problem is like the actual character growth he had in the comics was pretty much tied entirely to Nightwing. And Damien really grew as a character after Nightwing became Batman for a while before they reverted that because, you know... Growth and change in comics? What's that? Realize we're so close to death. I think it's particularly because Nightwing is a better character than Batman. Batman exists in this day and age, particularly, entirely to be a prick. Meanwhile, Nightwing isn't tied to the idea that he's a complete prick and thus can actually be a good person. If there's one thing that's a little disappointing, uh, going back to... the Batman animated series, it's how Batman, at the start of the animated series, is a good person, a nice person who wants to do good. And then as the series was revamped, that kind of died down a lot. And it became, I'm dark and brooding and vengeance and the night and everything. There's still moments where he's actually a good person, but they were a lot fewer and further between, like a lot fewer and far between.
These guys shouldn't be giving me this much trouble. There we go. Like, it feels like that's all that he's really delved in. That's all anyone ever really del delves into with Batman. Tragedy and, oh, he's actually a dick. They rarely ever do Batman as a good person anymore. And this whole idea of everybody buys into a Batman being like the best character capable of doing anything on his own is stupid. You know, I've not read um, comics in a while. I got particularly sick of DC's insistence of big crossovers every year. And like, I'd be going through back issues and events important to particular characters would happen in other comics. And like, New 52 was really bad about that. It's like, oh, I'm reading Nightwing, and it's a pretty good run. Oh, there's building up to something here that ties into Dick Grayson's past. Next issue. Oh, no. We've completely dropped that storyline, and now we're starting Special Agent Grayson. Why? Well, because in the Forever Evil crossover that was its own thing, Dick Grayson fakes his death. And now he gets to go undercover, and we're dropping all the storylines from the actual comic. It's like, oh, well, it was nice of that not to happen in the Nightwing comic. Or with, uh, fucking... Batman and Robin. Like, Batman has, like, seven different comics. But Batman and Robin is the one Damien specifically appears in. And then we end one issue, and move on to the next issue, and all of a sudden, Rob Damien's dead. When did that happen? Oh, it happened in a completely separate comic, a limited series called Batman Eternal. You know, I'd be really into that, Teague. If DC released that in our country. For some reason, they haven't released DC Universe in this country. Which is wonderful, because it also means that I don't get to watch uh, Young Justice Season 3, which I really want to watch. I don't get to watch Harley Quinn, which looks a lot better than I expected it to be. The only reason I got to watch Titans was because Netflix picked it up for distribution in this country. Yeah, the insistence on swearing and oh, dark and mature... Dark, no. The insistence on mature and, oh, swearing means we're edgy really put me off it originally, but I've seen clips of it and it looks fun and very true to a lot of the stupider stuff of DC, which more stuff should be willing to do. A lot of this stuff is really stupid. A lot of the stuff I really like is stupid, and it's great when stuff acknowledges that. Star Wars is stupid as fuck. And it's at its best when they acknowledge that.
Uh, I remember the tick. I've not seen any of the uh, the newer series that's exclusive to Amazon. I did watch that one season uh, series that had Patrick Warburton as the tick, which was pretty good. Hey, Ellie. Yeah, it is kind of a shame. Again, Titans is something that was better than I expected it to be, but the trailer for Titans was absolute garbage. I'll have to take a look at it then, Teague. It's a good thing I wasn't going to attack anybody physically. Hmm. Poison cure. Throw a Zan down. Throw a Zanma down. Eat this motherfucker. Yeah, you know what? Not gonna disagree with you there, Teak. It spends so long to get to anything. Everybody is so angsty. There's good there, and I'm hoping season three does get better. And actually figures out what it wants to be. Season one is dark and gritty. Season two is less dark and gritty. I'm hoping season three will figure out what it wants to actually do. But like I said, it was better than it had any right to be. Especially going off the trailer that came out for it, the whole fuck Batman trailer. Made it look way worse than it actually was. Uh, I should probably heal. Hmm. Well, it's a good thing I healed him. You out. Double forks. You're not dead yet. I don't appreciate that. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, the whole Superboy arc of Season 2 was really disappointing. The way it took up so much time and led basically nowhere until the end of the season. I feel like it's going to end up being a case of like the actual uh, the CW TV shows. It's going to be a good concept wasted on trying to do too much on a small budget and eventually just evolving into absolute garbage writing. Yeah, I thought it was bullshit that killed that character. I'm not going to say who that character was. Um, in case anybody watching wants to watch that, but it's bullshit that killed that character. Not just that they killed that character, that that killed the character. How you doing, Ellie? Also, they're not wearing anything. Uh, we transform into demons and eat people. Like, the idea is basically we're demons. Every demon we run across is also another person turned into a demon. And then we kill and eat them. 
It's how we get stronger. Uh, last episode of season two, if you want to find out, Ali. I mean, just look up a quick synopsis for that last episode. That's where they die. I need to pay more attention to this. Uh, I don't know anything about that. So you're cursed. Huh. Yeah, I didn't heard anything about that. Tired of your shit there, buddy. Getting real tired of your shit there, buddy. Oof, jeez. Still, at least that sounds accidental as opposed to uh, what went down with. Uh, the Resident Evil shit. That's right, die. Such a terrible movie for such a terrible reason. Like, we've been over it on stream before, but that whole thing was bullshit. I need to find another save point. that on uh, replace earth boost and then HD uh, I want this but where do I want to put it what do I want to replace replace Moodle I don't think we get any use out of that right now Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Why is this place so big? I want to see what this best two minutes of the show is. Okay, fair enough. It's weird the legal complications surrounding Donna Troy, which means I like, this was def this was the first time Donna Troy appeared in a live action setting. I think it was the first time she appeared outside of comic book media and video game media. I don't know if she was ever in any of the uh, cartoons. There it is, ZOU. Yeah, didn't they get confused? Didn't the writer at one point get confused about what Donna Troy's origin was? 
So she has like two different origins. Wasn't she like young, literally young Wonder Woman at one point? Because like Wonder Woman had this whole thing of uh, Wonder Woman, Wonder Girl, Wonder Baby at one point because the Silver Age was weird. God damn it, Yale. And like Wonder Girl was supposed, like they were all specifically Wonder Woman at different points in her life. A Wonder Girl was specifically young Wonder Woman. Uh, but the writer got confused and decided Wonder Girl was a different character. And that's who Donna Troy is. Fuck. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I recall hearing. But it was years ago that I read that. Uh, Teen Titans originally came out of an issue of Brave and the Bold that teamed up Robin, Aqualad, and I think Kid Flash. Hmm. It's kind of like how uh, old Superboy used to be young Superman. I didn't want to heal that, damn it. Do this. Yeah, I guess get rid of curse. Zanma. Zio. Zan. Attack. Don't. God damn it. It's fucking dicks and their instant kill spells. I think it's really the problem you have with um, any medium that goes on for so long, you're going to start forgetting stuff like that. Although, to be fair, it's not like the, the whole thing was that old when it happened. Try, how many times have they tried to simplify everything in DC over the years? Like, I think that's what 52 was about. That's what Crisis on Infinite Earths was about. Uh, New 52 was about that. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Alright, uh, I don't know if we'll still be here when you get back, though. Yeah, so it wasn't that old. Yeah. 
I don't know if we'll be here when you get back, Clint. If not, have yourself a good night, buddy. The gate's already unlocked. I bet you we're gonna go down there and, it'll and somebody will be up here to lock it. Now we're rebirth. I forget what 52 itself was actually about. Everything gets confusing. Like, if you remember specifically 52, which I feel like a lot of people don't want to remember 52. There we go. Yeah, weren't most of those cancelled in the first year? Yeah. The stupid thing is, like, you look at the titles they had for the... They, they had when they launched New 52. And it's like, who the fuck thought Jonah Hex was going to sell? Who, who thought anybody was going to buy Animal Man? It's like, yeah, uh, no, we've uh, we've got seven Batman titles. Uh, there's a Nightwing title. There's Batwoman. There's two Superman titles. There's the Justice League title. Let's have Animal Man. Let's have Jonah Hex. I think there was a Vixen title at one point. I know there was a Catwoman one, I don't remember if that got cancelled. I think the stupidest thing about the whole uh, launching New 52 thing was... Like, there's a, there's a lot stupid about it. And one of the stupidest things was, it was like, okay... Here is a point where anybody can just jump in and they don't have to worry about decades worth of content to catch up with. Cool idea in theory. Except a lot of titles basically just ignored the idea and carried on with what they were doing. Batman specifically felt really stupid, especially since they established, um, yeah, because Grant Morrison was working on Green Lantern at the time, wasn't he? Uh, Batman in particular felt really stupid, though, um, with its, its establishment that Batman had been around for six years. It's like, okay, so in six years you're telling me Batman... Started become started as Batman. No, oh, Jeff Johns. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, so in six years, Batman started as Batman. Um, recruited Dick Grayson as Robin. Robin grew up to become Nightwing. He recruited Jason Todd to be Robin. Robin, Jason Todd was killed. Came back as Red Hood. Recruited Tim Drake. Tim Drake's left to become Red Robin. Uh, Batgirl happened, Batgirl was crippled by the Joker, and got better, and has a ten-year-old son. In six years. And he's like, seriously? I need to give somebody a spell.
Like, that was so stupid. And then there was the Zero Year storyline. Ugh. Like, Batgirl, Batwoman ended up being, like, one of my favourite comics for a while. For, like, two reasons. One, it was a good comic. And two, it didn't cross over with any of the other shit. It didn't cross over with Court of Owls. It didn't cross over with the thing the, the year after that. I can't remember what that was. Uh, it was stupid. And involved more titles. I can't remember specifically. So, Rebirth is specifically, yeah, this is stupid. Just, just kind of deal with it. it. Makes more sense than New 52 did. Mazan. 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 Why are none of you dead? Mabufu. Ah, oh, damn it. God damn it. It really does become the biggest problem with comics. Oh, that's good to know because... I feel like the entire comic book industry should have learned as a whole uh, that breaking up long-established marriages like that was kind of stupid like you know maybe don't do that and then you know maybe don't have the uh, the hero character trying to get with a new character who is basically the daughter of the editor and it's incredibly transparent that that's what's happening You know, just, just a thought. I should have ate one of them, that would have been a better idea. God damn it! Well, that's the problem, like, they want to keep getting the money, they want to keep building these universes that are actually worth a damn. But they want to constantly bring in more people. Because comics are a dying medium. DC's probably got the best idea with having, um comics on the subscription service like if they can make that pay okay Did they? Hmm. Only stuff available digitally through Comixology and stuff like that's a good idea. Be 
yeah, limited runs are generally my preferred way of um, reading. Oh, that's interesting. You know, they're not bad examples, Ali. Um, I usually point to stuff like Preacher. I enjoyed Preacher, and I enjoyed Preacher going into it knowing that it was going to be a series that would end. Oh, for fuck's sake. Come on. Preacher is great if you are a teenager. I mean, the, the whole thing of Preacher is it's something you probably enjoy as a teenager. Am I just going to quit this now? Well, this thing, Preacher is designed as an adult comic, but it's written sometimes to be very juvenile. Yeah, you know, I'm getting sick of this shit. Why am I reviving people if they're just going to keep dying? Fucking instant kill attacks. No, it's fine. I'll go through my entire stock of healing items, of revival items. It's fine. We actually start doing stuff now. I think Warren Ellis is hit or miss. At his best, he is really good. Well, that's a game over. Thanks for stringing me along and then just deciding, nope, it's time for you to stop playing the game now. Shit, we're going to be tense, eh? Well, you know me, I don't like ending on a down note. So I think what we're going to do is uh, we're going to switch it up to something else. And we'll be right back after these messages. Shut up. <laughs> 